Hey everybody, it's me Luca Haldiji. Welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Ninjago Legacy Kai Fighter. Now, I actually did an unboxing video of this set yesterday and I actually just finished building it today. Now, this set looks really nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, starting with the minifigures. So we have Kai, Lloyd, Two and two nindroids, and there are two builds. There's a side build, and of course, the namesake Kai Fighter. Let's start off with the figures. So this minifigure is one of the reasons you should buy this set, which is obviously Kai, because this is actually exclusive to the set and only appears in this set as of 2020. Who knows? He might appear in future Ninjago waves, but for now, he's exclusive. So you can see that this is actually inaccurate. This is more. Um, um, actually based off of Tournament of Elements more than Season 3 which is rebooted because in Season 3 they actually had sleeves this one does not have sleeves but has the the shirt and legs or the torso and leg print from the rebooted set so that's so weird it's like a mix of the rebooted and tournament suit because in the tournament suit like they don't have like an undershirt so that's I don't, I don't know it's just weird but either way you can see the minifigure still looks really nice with this Really cool exclusive printing. He has two katanas and his face print and hair is nothing new. It's very common. Comes in like a lot of the sets that have Kai. This is from the Ninjago movie. Which I think they should start like using new face prints because I'm getting tired of those. But also uses the what I call the half masks which in red. Which is you actually put that over the head. So that's really nice. Glad it wasn't a print. But yeah that's it for Kai. And you can see it has some really nice back print. I also like how they put wrinkles. So that's just some nice added detailing. We have Lloyd who is pretty common. Like he appears in like two other sets. Like I believe the Thunder Raider and the Jungle Raider. So this, is, this isn't too rare. But this is still a really nice figure to get. Once again using the tournament outfit instead of rebooted. I mean technically he doesn't have the sleeves. But he has the torso and legs from rebooted. I don't know it's just weird. You can see he uses the same hair and face as the Ninjago movie sets. Once again, it's basically the Kai minifigure, except, of course, this time it's now in green. But still, it's a really nice figure to get. Once again, using two silver katanas. Nothing new or common with those, or rare. So yeah, that's it for the heroes. Moving on to the villains, we have one of the nindroids. Now, this looks a lot like Cryptor, who is the nindroid leader. And because he has, like, this sort of extra set of armor on him. So I believe this is Cryptor. But on the box it just says Nindroid Warrior, but I don't know. But either way, we have him. You can see he has this pretty cool weapon with no new pieces. Just pretty common. You can see that this is actually very similar to the original Nindroids from 2014. Except, like, I have a feeling like even the, what is that, the helmet is the exact same as the Nindroids from 2014. I don't know, it's just strange. You can see that his face underneath looks really cool. And I also like how his alternate face is actually reversed where... And you can actually now see the eye instead of just this, like, I guess, metal frame. So that's some nice, that's some really nice, cool stuff you got going on there. And you can see some really nice back printing as well. And overall, just a really awesome and detailed figure. There's another Nindroid of the set. The only difference is that there's no shoulder pad and the accessory, which is accessory is a red sword. But other than that, everything is the exact same as the previous Nindroid. Here are the builds of the set. We have, of course, the Kai Fighter and this little Nindroid side build. Let's start off with the Kai Fighter. So here's the Kai Fighter. It looks really nice. I love the whole, I love the whole like um, red and black and yellow color scheme. It just fits Kai really well. I like the use of these golden blades, where these bigger blades, because that actually fits really well with the red. I also love these stickers with little fire markings on it or whatever that's some really nice detailing even on the sides now one complaint i have is the fact that it just first it's very like heavy so like there's a stand underneath but it's pretty pointless because it's just gonna tip over even if you try and stand it i don't know how i feel about that i don't know that's just my only complaint because you can see that it is a very beautiful build now there's actually a lot of stickers that have these flame prints. And now if you're wondering how these really cool, like, I guess, exhaust engine looking things are actually built, where you actually just go on these little Technic pins using studs, not on top techniques, which that's really nice. 
And these are actually just normal cheese slopes there. That's really nice. I love the use of, I love how they like flat, like use flat tiles a lot. Because it's really nice. It makes it look more smoother. You can see, let's go ahead and start off with the cockpit. So you can just easily lift that up. This windshield is nothing new. It's pretty rare. It's not really rare. Uh, sorry, rare. It's pretty common, I meant. You can see that there's a spot for you to put one minifigure. In this case, it's for Kai. You just got to remove the katanas, which I wish there was a spot, like a clip, where you can put inside Kai. Because there's not really, like, a, a place where you can hold, like, Kai's katanas with him inside as well. I don't know. Maybe put it outside, but whatever. You can see that you have to, you have to put him, like, all the way back. You have to push him back, or else if you put it too high... It's not going to close properly because the windshield is going to hit his hair. So you have to lean him all the way back. There you go. You can see fits really nice. Now there is actually a play feature where you can actually, you can see, look at these like Technic pins. You can actually see that you can bend this. It will actually move the wings. I don't know if you can see that. Let's do that again. See that? That's a really nice, that's a really nice feature and works pretty smooth. Let's do that from another angle. Just need to push it like there's no, nothing really need to do but just push this up and down. And that works really well. Now you can see the wings are really, really long. And it's, of course, they're basically identical to each side. I love the use, once again, of these gold blades. And I also like this use of these stickers where they have these fire, like flames. That looks really good. And those little fins or whatever just go on these little clips, which there are two of them. They're just switched. You can see the back, which that looks really cool as well. I am, I just really like the use of these little fire sticker detailings. Now you can see there's also these little wings, like flaps. I don't know. It doesn't really do anything. But there are these Exoforce arms, which I'm not sure what they're for. I'm not sure if they're landing gears, because if you put them down... I don't know, like, I feel like it does work, like, because it's still a bit too top-heavy. I don't know, I wonder if this, these Exo Force arms are supposed to serve as landing gear, because it is pretty back-heavy, so it wouldn't really make sense. I don't know, it just, it's just weird. But, overall, this is a really, really cool set. Now, there's one last thing I want to point out, which are the play features. Now, we saw, we already did the whole, this feature right here. There's actually the shooting feature, which you can see there are these orange spring-loaded shooters. I'm glad that they chose orange instead of red so that, I don't know, it could have fit more through. It looks like more like, it looks more like fire than just red. So you just need to push that down, then it will shoot these orange bolts, which you do get extras of. You can also easily put that back in, which with, with, without those spring-loaded shooters, you can see that there's these little, I guess, warning sign, caution symbol, or whatever. You can see that right there. As well as this not another sticker right there. Which I wish this was just a print because it's a bit hard to put on. This one's really nice. This is also another sticker, which is actually covered by the spring-loaded shooters. Though I like the little detailing of the, I guess, exhaust or whatever. Because it goes well, it matches well with the orange bolt colors. But yeah, that's really it for the Kai Fighter. Let's move on to the side builds. Well, there's actually only one side build, which is this little Nindroid little cannon, whatever. I don't know. I don't really... I don't know. This just looks weird. I don't know. I, In my opinion, they should have included a cannon instead of just a normal spring-loaded shooter because it just makes it look ridiculous. Like, if you remove that, it doesn't even look like a cannon. I don't know. They should have just included a normal cannon instead of spring-loaded shooter. It just looks a bit weird, but you can adjust it because it is on this little robot arm. It just goes on this little clip. Um, you can, I don't know, I, it can't really do much. It falls apart a lot, actually. You can see, move it back and forth like that. You can see that there's actually a sticker there. And once again, you have these little, I guess, platforms or bases that will help you, like, that's like on like a platform that will help you, like, balance or whatever. I don't really know how to describe that. But yeah, I don't know. I just don't really like that this part the spring-loaded shooter 
doesn't really look nice. It just looks so weird. It doesn't really seem like a cannon. They should have just included a regular cannon instead of just a spring-loaded shooter because it just looks ridiculous in my opinion. be it for the builds. Let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging and then the instructions. Here's the box of this set, which of course has an Indrago Legacy artwork. You can see that it said features in Season 3. Now, there's actually this little, I guess, feature where you can scan the code. And then it will give you this certain, like, I don't know, it will show you to, like, episodes or building instructions. I really don't know. You can see that there's some shots of the episodes from Season 3 on the back. Of course, some more play features. This is overall a really nice set. I really love the box as well. It's pretty cool. But, yeah, I don't know. I want to know what you guys think because this is a really nice set. I really like the artwork on the side of the box. That's really nice as well. So, overall, I think this set is amazing. Like, I love it so much. I love the minifigures, it's a really good selection. My only complaint is the fact that the minifigures, like, they should have included sleeves because it's just inaccurate. And of course, that little Nindroid side build just looks a bit ridiculous with that spring-loaded shooter. But other than that, I don't really have any other complaints besides the fact that, oh yeah, another one is that the Kai Fighter cannot balance. Like, it was, it's always, it's always back heavy, but whatever. So yeah, I really like this set overall. Yeah, I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Either way, see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye. Psych, I forgot one last thing. There are the instructions, but there are no interesting ads or anything. Just this little board game, whatever stuff. This is actually the season 13 sets, but not much other advertisements. So, yeah, that's it. See you next time, people. Bye.